she's hilarious and awesome and beautiful and fabulous and all the things that are good and right in the world. Give it up for Crystal Bubbly! you into our world, so I'm going to let you into mine. Um, just, not that it's a new thing, but um, I'm, I'm glad this year is almost over, because this was a hard year for black people. Not that every other year hasn't been, but shit! <laughs> and I mean, it's really hard because, like, things happen, and then you go on social media, and you see people reacting, and, like, you, you start to think, like, Sometimes I look at my friends' posts, and even some of my posts, and I'm like, damn, do my white friends think I hate them? <laughs> we don't. Like, like we, we love white people, certain, Donald Trump excluded. But, <laughs> and we did love him. We did. Like, he like had us on The Apprentice. We were cool with Donald Trump. <laughs> we just lost some shit. But, um, and then you, like, you, you discover some new white people that you want to like, but you got to do your research, right? <laughs> like, I went to three nights of the five-night Taylor Swift concert. Don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> but this group, Haim? 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 They performed. Those bitches rocked. And I was like, oh my god, I love Haim. I'm getting t-shirts. I'm joining the fan club. I'm buying all their CDs, mixtapes, whatever. But first, let me get on Twitter and see if they said anything bad about black people. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Mike? Because you got to research, right? Because now everything is down to a hashtag. So if they do say something bad and you're like, I'm all over here tweeting like, oh my God, I love him. You guys love him. And they said something bad. Like, you'll get banned from your blackness. <laughs> it's some serious shit. They'll put your picture up in Popeyes. <laughs> you can't drink brown liquor anymore. <laughs> And then, like, the cable company only has fuse on, and it only plays eight miles. That's some torture shit. <laughs> so some things got to change for black people. And um, for all people, especially in this country. And with that, today, via Instagram, Crystal Bowman, um, I decided to announce my candidacy for president of these United States of America. Woo! Thank you guys, feel free to write me in. I'm gonna do the whole like ballot thing, you know, maybe. Um, and uh, my campaign slogan is Crystal Bubblin for president because <laughs> that's your alternative. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was telling my mom, you know this, and she gets like real serious and she's like, so if you get elected, what are you gonna do for us? <laughs> What? I'm your child. <laughs> like, you voted for Obama because he was black, but I need to lay out presidential strategy. <laughs> this, this is not how this works. I lived inside of you, woman. And she was like, that's the only free ticket you get. I'm <laughs> so it was cool, so I thought about it. And um, so I'm going to let you know. Here's some of my platform. On um, uh, health care and college education. Feel the same about both? free. We got the money to do it. We're just going to do it. Clap <laughs> for it. We're going to do college debt forgiveness. You know, the, the key to wealth in America is home ownership, but you can't buy a home if you got $100,000 in loans and your credit and shit, right? Woo! So, I know that everybody needs houses. Uh, when it comes to uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And as for sexual relations, I feel like no one should be denied entry to these walls as long as they fit the following crack. Oh shit, that says foreign relations. <laughs> foreign, not sexual. But since we're talking about it. <laughs> my brother is here. Woo! And my stepmom. Woo! So this is gonna get really gross, guys. Um, since we're talking about sex now. Um, I would love to have sex again, you know. <laughs> Maybe even before next year. I don't know, three weeks, it could happen. But uh, the thing is, I'm an alpha female, right? So I like an alpha male. I like a, like a man who like put me in check. Like, to take me from here to like right here when I get around. 
<laughs> you know, just give me that little. And guys, like nowadays, they 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 don't they don't have that that genesis qua, right? And there's nothing worse than like when you get all dressed up for a day. Like my hair is natural, so I gotta start the night before. <laughs> Sad, so the twists come out right and all that. But there's nothing worse than getting all ready for a day. You get in the car and you think you're cute. <laughs> And he goes, so what you want to do? <laughs> I mean, men are supposed to lead, right? Right? Aren't they supposed to be the leaders, the providers of the household? How? How will follow you as a woman? You can't lead me to the damn Olive Garden. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. I just want some breadsticks. <laughs> and then, like, guys, a lot of times, will complain about what it takes today. Oh, I'm spending too much money. She lives too far away. But here's the deal, guys. Make a plan. If you make the plan, you control the variables in the situation. You control how far you drive. You control how much you spend, where you go. Just, yeah, be like the government. Make a plan, take away all her options. <laughs> you got it. it. I'm not really worried about it, though. I feel like this is becoming a We Hate Kids show. <laughs> but, uh, because I'm not a big fan of kids. Like, they're cute for, like, three hours? Three? You nanny. Three? Oh, I got you. About, yeah, okay. And I was raised kind of as an only child, so, you know, I have, like, this three-hour thing, and then I'm like, okay, no more people. But um, <laughs> what I figured out is, the cutest and most terrifying thing in the world is a baby cough. Cause it's just, there's some, uh, 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 and then they little face and then they scrunch up and you're just like, oh, I wanna take care of you baby, I wanna help you. But on the other hand, like baby diseases are some other world shit. <laughs> and like, they will take out adults. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, you can't really, you know, you're like, I want to wipe his nose, but I don't know, he might have rickets or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to get shingles right now. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> and why is it like people always ask you, when are you going to have kids after their kid does some awful shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting at my friend's house. She's got two kids. They're really sweet. She's got a boy and a girl. They're playing, they're having a good old time. The boy just starts screaming, crying out of nowhere, right? We look up, his sister has taken her doll and just like cold cocked him in the face. <laughs> I don't even know what game this was, but she just like fast ah, smacked the shit out of her brother. So he's crying, but he's not going to take it. You know, he ain't no baby punk. So he just like stands up, pushes her over. So now she's crying. My girlfriend looks at me and is like, so, when are you going to have kids? I don't want that. Why would I want that? Why would I want to do that to my son? No. You guys, you handle that. Thanks, moms. Appreciate you, moms and dads. So this is, uh, excuse me, this is a Christmas show. And it's in the holidays, death of Santa. And I, uh, you know, but my family was pretty normal, so I don't have any great, like, Iguana stories like Kelly. And, <laughs> I mean, my, my mom gave me a sewing machine when I was 11 and I cried. <laughs> yes, my baby. I wanted a boom box. 11, <laughs> hip hop is popping. I asked for a boom box, right? She called me, she's like, I got you a Christmas present. It's electrical. I was like, really, can I carry it? She's like, well, it's small enough to carry it. I was like, oh my God. And I was with my dad, you know, in Virginia, right? And so when I got back home to New Jersey, I'm like, oh, I'm rapping, I'm rapping. I'm gonna mass black, so I'm gonna be like, hello, cool J. And I'm like, damn, so I'm like, you know what? I can't make Carl Canines. You gotta buy Carl Canines. I can't make cross colors. About? But there was one story um, that I know. And some of you may have heard it, uh, but I'll just, you know, I'll just tell you. I, I thought it was fun, you know what I mean? So uh, there was this reindeer named Rudolph, and he had a very shiny nose, okay? And it, listen, if you ever saw it, you would even say it glowed. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> now, there were all these other reindeer, right? And they used to laugh, and they would like call them names. And they would 
never let Rudolph join in any reindeer game. Like, this fruit. And there was this one foggy Christmas Eve, right? And uh, Santa came and he said, Rudolph, like you got, you know, with your nose so right? Why don't you grab my sleigh tonight, right? Then all the reindeers loved him. Oh. They got the vapors. Y'all know about the vapors? <laughs> and they shouted out with glee. They were like, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you go down in history. <laughs> hey, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> they said it again. They were like, you'll go down in history. <laughs> Thank you, guys.